Virgo, welcome to your November 2017 general tarot reading. It's Rena here. Okay, well, this is a general focus for the sign of Virgo. I have a love reading for Virgo already on my channel, so go check it out. And if you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below. Okay. Well, there may be somebody who's an Aquarius um, involved. It may not be positive because we do have a couple of swords cards that um, are not the nicest cards. The, the star card connects to Aquarius. And it's possible that this is not, um, it, it, I have a feeling that this person has let you down in some way and betrayed you, maybe cheated on you. And the good news is that you've come to terms with it. And now you really see things as they, as they are. And um, so... Let me start with this card, which I don't usually start with. This is the challenge position. The Queen of Cups is an incredibly psychic person. And in the challenge position, this is you ignoring your hunches. Now, I just wanted to point out in the top row that we have two fives, and they're both cards that we associate with something not so hot. Um, actually, the number five represents a lot of um, instability. And so the thing that may have happened, this, is a, this doesn't have to be a romantic relationship either, not by a long shot. This can be something in the workplace for sure. And when you have, like, um, this is the past position, when you have a card like the Five of Swords, you can see those people in the background. And so there, there may be more than one person who has been conspiring against you. <laughs> I don't like to say that because it sounds like I don't want to induce paranoia in anybody. But... It may be on, just on the verbal level, sometimes it's that. It it's, could be like certain actions that they are doing, whether or not it's to prevent you from getting ahead personally, or if you're working with somebody else, if there's like teams and, and they're part of another team. Um, but the point is that I feel, I know this sounds strange, but I feel like... the that you're in a good place because the center of this situation is the star card. So something has happened. Maybe you've come through quite an ordeal of some sort, but you are healing. This is in the past position. This is something that somebody did. And right now we have a card, the five of cups, that speaks of mourning a loss. So there may be something that did happen, but you have this knowledge. Well, I shouldn't say knowledge, but you have this uh, feeling that things are finally going your way. And what happened was that you did not listen to your gut. You did not listen to your intuition, and you went into something... Maybe at the beginning it was fine, like even like a relationship, but when you saw those warning signs, you kind of um, 
was you you kind of stuck your head in the sand and that that cost you a certain situation where you lost valuable time because this may be a situation that has been going on for quite a while and uh, like for instance let's say you were married for a number of years and you know that your partner was cheating on you you know they were lying to you and you still went back for more you still tolerated it finally it got to be too much and you couldn't ignore it anymore but think of all the time that was wasted and I'm saying that to make you understand that in the future it's good to it's good to see things as they are and to not allow yourself to be deceived by anyone that I don't believe that there is such thing as wasted time personally I really think that you know we're eternal beings so there's no such thing as time in the first place but just to kind of um, dramatize you know the importance of seeing things in, in a realistic light um, the higher message is the Empress card now if this is a personal relationship and and you are a mother then it could be saying you're taking your duty as a parent very seriously and you're protect you're actually protecting your child from somebody who is very it could be very um, deceptive and that you don't want your child around such a person the other thing is that if you are an artist it could be that somebody was stealing your ideas and it might have been that you needed to be in an environment where you could control that so I the first thing that pops into my mind is like a graphic artist or an um, what do they call it a um, like an an advertise an advertisement and you you work in teams and that doesn't allow you to uh, that that kind of puts you in that situation where you could get um, the the other person could um, or people could exploit that because uh, they can present your ideas as theirs and things like that so you may decide to be a free agent. What is coming in or the advice I think this is more like what is coming in the near future this is or it might even be now in a sense this is about hitting bottom so it's about whatever it is that you were in denial about you're finally seeing it for what it is and you're moving on but it's like it's a process everything has its season and so you may be still in the grief stage but you are going to get over it and you're going to be better than ever and you know it um, also with the Empress card that's a card of abundance fertility creativity um, it's possible that there are Virgos out there who are getting pregnant and they this couldn't come at a better time for them uh, because now they can make that decision if you were a woman if you are a woman who really was clinging to your career but you wanted to have a child and you were trying to think well how am I going to do both you may give yourself the green light to be a um, stay-at-home mother and you're not going to feel bad about it because this negative experience shows the dark side of, of the workplace and um, so you may not um, look at it with the same kind of um, reverence you may see that there are definite problems in in certain cases when you when you work for other people and also you may even depending on what you do be able to do it at home and launch your own business and if you I'm talking about if you want to become a parent and we have as the outcome walking away from what no longer serves you so whether this is a relationship or whether this is a 
job that you were, were at, you are going to walk away. Now this makes me think that you are the one that quits. So it's not a, a question of getting fired from a job, but it's a question of getting disgusted with what is going on and saying, I'm out of here. If um, there is some kind of relationship issue that is prompting all of this, you may, the higher message may be saying, you don't, you dodged a bullet here. You, you want to have children. And now you don't have to have this person as the father of your child. Nothing against men. This is just a card that really speaks to um, women. It's a, it's a very feminine card and specifically to motherhood. So that's why I'm specifying that. But I guess you could, you know, you could um, make a case for either gender, I suppose. But kind of framing it in the proper context is always helpful when you're trying to get over something. And this is about getting over it. The number 10 is a cycle, the end of a cycle. Okay, well, that's... Um, that's that, and I hope you enjoy this, Virgo. If you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below. Otherwise, have a great November. Bye.